now we will be revise some of the vector operations you must be familiar with all these vector operations i will just uh, revise them once again so if we have two vectors a bar and b bar then addition of these two vectors uh, follows a commutative law so a bar plus b bar can be written as b bar plus a bar so while adding the vectors we can swap the vectors and still the result will be the same the vector addition obeys associative law a bar plus b bar plus c bar equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar so it doesn't matter how do we group the vectors while adding them a bar minus b bar can be written as a bar plus minus b bar alpha into a bar plus b bar is equal to alpha a bar plus alpha b bar so multiplication is distributive here alpha is a scalar we can multiply vectors via dot product or cross product dot product is written as a bar dot b bar equal to a b cos theta where a and b are the magnitudes of these vectors a bar and b bar respectively and theta is the angle between the two vectors dot product will be a scalar quantity so dot product will not have a direction it will just be a number we can write a bar dot b bar to be equal to b bar dot a bar so dot product follows the commutative law a bar dot b bar plus c bar equal to a bar dot b bar plus a bar dot c bar so dot product also follows distributive law cross product now can be written as a bar cross b bar equal to a b sin theta n cap where a and b are magnitudes of the vectors a bar and b bar respectively theta is again angle between a bar and b bar and n cap is the unit vector pointing perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar that means a bar cross b bar is a vector unlike dot product dot product was a scalar but cross product will result in a vector and will have a direction and the direction of the a bar cross b bar will be perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar and direction of this n cap that means the direction of a bar cross b bar will be given by this right hand rule so if this is the direction in which a bar is pointing this is the direction in which b bar is pointing then perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar will be the direction of resultant a bar cross b bar a bar cross b bar plus c bar can be written as a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar so here cross product is also distributive and uh, a bar cross b bar is equal to minus b bar cross a bar it means that the direction of a bar cross b bar and b bar cross a bar are opposite so unlike dot product in dot product a bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar but in cross product there is a negative sign directions are different directions are opposite let us try to understand now how to write a vector in a component form so for that let us consider unit vectors x cap y cap z cap along the direction x y and z respectively so x cap is the unit vector along x direction y cap is the unit vector along y direction and z cap is the unit vector along z direction unit uh, vector means the vector having dimension 1 a vector a bar drawn from origin can be written as ax x cap plus ay y cap plus az z cap the unit vector is indicated by writing cap like this so you vector a bar can be written as ax x cap plus ay y cap plus az z cap this ax ay az these numbers are called as the components of vector a bar and these components are nothing but the projection of a bar on x y and z axis respectively so we can write a vector in a component form as a bar equal to ax x cap plus ay y cap plus az z cap where x cap y cap and z cap are the unit vectors along x y z axis respectively and ax ay az are called as the components of a bar now let us discuss vector algebra in component form 
we will try to understand how the two vectors are added in a component form how a scalar is multiplied with a vector in a component form how dot product of the two vectors is written in component form how a cross product of two vectors is written in component form so all these things will be discussed now so let us first add the two vectors a bar plus b bar a bar is written as ax x cap plus ay y cap plus az z cap ax ay az these are the components of a bar and b bar is written as bx x cap plus by y cap plus bz z cap bx by bz these are the components of b bar now when you add the two vectors the respective components are added together so x component of a bar will be added to x component of b bar y component will be added to y component of b bar and z component of a bar will be added to z component of b bar so a bar plus b bar will result in ax plus bx x cap plus ay plus by y cap plus az plus bz z cap this is how the vector is multiplied by a scalar so when you multiply a vector by a scalar that scalar will get multiplied with each component so a into a bar will result in a a x x cap plus a a y y cap plus a a z z cap so this is how a scalar is multiplied with a vector in component form now if you take dot product of two unit vectors x cap dot x cap that will be 1 so if you multiply a unit vector with itself via dot product the result will always be 1 why because the dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar is given by ab cos theta so here theta will be equal to 0 so cos 0 will be equal to 1 and the magnitude of unit vector is 1 so 1 into 1 into 1 so that will result in 1 so x cap dot x cap that will be equal to y cap dot y cap that will be equal to z cap dot z cap and that will be equal to 1 if you take dot product of the two perpendicular vectors here theta will be 90 degrees and cos 90 is 0 and therefore x cap dot y cap that will be equal to x cap dot z cap that is uh, a y cap dot z cap that will be 0 so if you take dot product of the two perpendicular vectors that will be equal to 0 because theta is equal to 90 degrees and cos 90 is equal to 0 this is how we can write dot product in component form a bar dot b bar so it will be a scalar quantity so just x component of a bar is multiplied with x component of b bar then we will add y component of a bar multiplied by y component of b bar to that and then we will add z component of a bar multiplied by z component of b bar so a bar dot b bar in component form is written as ax bx plus ay by plus az bz so this is how dot product is written in component form if you multiply the same vector with itself via dot product then it will result in ax into ax that is ax square plus ay into ay that is ay square plus az into az that is az square so a bar dot a bar will be equal to a square where a is the magnitude of vector a bar which will be given by square root of a x square plus a y square plus az square cross product of the two vectors is written as a bar cross b bar equal to a b sin theta n cap so if you take cross product of the unit vector with itself it will result in zero why because x cap cross x cap will be equal to 1 into 1 into sin 0 theta will be equal to 0 sin 0 is equal to 0 and therefore it will result in zero so if you multiply a given vector with itself via cross product it will result in zero because angle between them is zero and sin 0 is equal to zero now if you multiply the unit vector with a perpendicular unit vector then the result will be like this x cap cross y cap will be equal to z cap and uh, that will be same as minus y cap cross x cap so here direction changes when you interchange the positions when you swap the vectors in cross multiplication y cap cross z cap will be equal to minus z cap cross y cap that is equal to x cap 
and z cap cross x cap will be equal to minus x cap cross z cap that will be equal to y cap. In component form, the cross product is given by a bar cross b bar equal to a y b z minus a z b y x cap minus a x b z minus a z b x y cap plus a x b y minus a y b x z cap. So, this is nothing but the value of this determinant. In this determinant, the first row is the unit vectors x cap, y cap and z cap. Second row is components of the first vector ax, ay, az and the third row is bx, by, bz components of the second vector. So, see how it is uh, written, cross product is written x cap into ay, bz minus az, by, ay, bz minus az, by minus y cap ax, bz minus az, bx plus z cap ax by minus ay bx. So, the cross product in component form is nothing but a value of this determinant in which first row is unit vectors, second row is components of the first uh, vector and the third row is components of the second vector. So, we can uh, change this sign negative sign to positive sign by interchanging the terms here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel so that you will get timely intimation of new videos uploaded to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.